Good morning, everyone. I'm Jen Houston, owner of the Artsy Fartsy Gallery. I'm a full-time independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Canmore, Alberta, Canada. Happy Monday, everyone. Um, we are going to make our Monday Marvelous because we're going to start off with a brand new feature of the week. Um, I'm excited to share that with you. And uh, we're going to do it in a non-traditional way. Surprise, surprise! <laughs> So um, hopefully you gain some neat little ideas from this and um, um, I don't know, a neat little technique, I suppose. Um, let's see, but first off, I am so late on this draw, I need to speed her up. So first off, actually I'm gonna go to this one first. We had some people do the challenge last Tuesday for the template challenge and they did awesome they did an awesome job so here are the three we had Donna Jennifer and Mary participate in this amazing challenge here so simple so simple I love those layout challenges because you know they just make you think outside the box they get you using your products that you have and I love how people change them up like same template but the cards look totally different just based on you know what paper you used or I see Jennifer she tilted the whole layout idea do you see that in the middle and boom you've got a new card idea right it's so neat so let's uh, let's draw this okay so here we go random image or pick random image du, 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 du. Oh, that was bizarre oh, are they gonna keep uh do they flip i don't get that okay i've used this site before i'm shocked what's happening here um, I think I'm, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna press it one more time and whoever gets it, gets it. Wherever it stops, I guess. Bizarre. How about I, also, I send you all a handmade card? <laughs> Since that's a little weird. How about that? I think that's fair, right? Okay, let's move on from there and go to all the amazing amazing products that are um, all the amazing projects that were shown yesterday on sharing Sunday Wow you guys are so talented so I wanted to send away a handmade card to somebody who posted yesterday on sharing Sunday so let's see who is gonna be the winner from, of that du, 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 du. Du, du. how about Jill <laughs> Way to go, Jill! I'm going to be sending you a little handmade card in the mail for your project, Jill. Let me write that down. Sharing Sunday. Way to go! Nice. Okay. Awesome. So, let me switch my screen so we can get rolling here hello everyone that's popped on happy Monday and I'm so glad you're here um, I love how you're commenting already that's awesome and if you could share this video that'd be marvelous of course share it with those friends that uh, you uh, know are crafty right and uh, make sure if I to make sure I don't forget go back after the video and make sure you pick a number on the mail it out Monday challenge today because we want to hit more than 67 right we've hit 67 the last three day or three Mondays in a row and if we get more than 67 people commenting then I get to pick two numbers just saying just saying all right let's check this out birds and branches we're gonna play with this week so of course this comes with this beautiful stamp set I love Okay, I've, I've, I've man just like mangled <laughs> all the dyes here because I've been playing away here. Um, fun dyes. So I, what I like is that you have a bird that's a solid shape. 
You have a bird that has um, kind of some opening cutouts. Look at this thing. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. There's the, you know, items that cut out, or the dies that cut out, you know, the nest and the flowers and the different things. So, and look at this beautiful border. Isn't that pretty? We're gonna use that today. And of course, I always love little branches. They're always so much fun to just add a sprig of things here or, anyway, so we are gonna have fun playing with this stamp set bundle actually all week the cool thing about bundles is that if you purchase the stamp set and dies together you get 10% off love it okay so and there they go on the floor <laughs> okay let's go so for our first card today we're actually not going to stamp we're actually going to use designer series paper as our kind of images. So I'm kind of thinking that it kind of, to me, looks a little bit like quilting, if you will. That's my thoughts anyway. See what you think. Tell me what you think. Um, and I was going to get, oh, Okay, so we have Misty Moonlight as our card base. Should be a fun week. Keep looking at this set, but you need to convince me I need it. Oh, no pressure. <laughs> Misty Moonlight. I'm in love with this color. <sighs> and you know, I, I had a little random piece of petal pink on my table, and I'm like, oh, those two look lovely together. So we're going to have a little matte uh, petal pink and then I'm going to have an in like another layer of whisper white for which I'm going to put these birds which I cut out of the In Good Taste designer series paper. How cool is that, right? And some more In Good Taste designer series paper. This is that wood grain but I cut that branch out of the wood grain, which is kind of cool. This is, uh, oh, this is from the Peony Garden, but look at that little label there. There's some petal pink in that. It just, it matched all together really nicely. So isn't that cool how you can use designer series paper to cut those little items out of no coloring required. <laughs> okay, let's get rolling. First off, what I thought was, I'm going to go onto this whisper white layer and I'm going to just kind of daub on some misty moonlight um, ink now I don't want it super dark so of course my rule and not magenta madness that's right <laughs> my, the new pineapple punch <laughs> I'm gonna have to use it sooner though than I did with pineapple punch remember how I just left it to the last day Oh, before it retired to use it okay so I'm just rubbing some of that off because I can always add more but I can't take it away so I'm just wanting to add a little bit of color just kind of more like a sky look I suppose and I you know I am a rubber <laughs> that doesn't make sense I like to rub my daubers as opposed to go, going like this and creating little dots. I think that's enough. Um, I'm almost tempted. What would happen if we added in some petal pink? Just to tie it all together. Let's see what we think. So we'll test it out a little bit here. Might just make it a little more happy feeling. And as you can see, I didn't even add ink. I'm just re just using it from whatever was left on that dauber. I don't know if you can see the difference, but they're just little hits of pink, right? There, I think that's great. That's all. Just a little something in the background to break up that stark white. Okay, so now we're gonna play around with this and see what we think. You know, a smart person 
would have remembered to cut this out with that adhesive sheets on the back so that it became a sticker instead of just uh, a line on glue. Okay, see, I think we'll move this up just a tad. And we can, I had gotten out some of this organdy petal pink ribbon. I wasn't sure if we wanted to add some of that in there, not add some of that in there. I think it might overtake it a little bit. How about, what about, oh, I'm getting so low on this, this little polka dot. That might be cute, just as a little something. Needs a little hit of color though, doesn't it? So maybe that, what if we did just a little hit of this and a little hit of this. That might work. Or we don't have to do anything at all. We could just, now that I ruined that. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. I think I'm going to use Early Espresso to stamp with just because I think that'll tie in that dark brown color on the branch. And I'm still in need of thank you cards, so I'm actually using the Itty Bitty green Greetings Many Thanks. I love this stamp set. It comes with two. Like, look at all those greetings you get in one stamp set. So, awesome value. And it's got some, like, bizarre, um, not holidays, but bizarre, different sayings, greetings, yada yada. Okay, let's get this going the right direction here. And my little many thanks. Hopefully it's straight. <laughs> well, that's okay. We'll just go with this. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use my liquid glue and that way I can just add little dots here. Randomly onto the leaves. There again, I should have used adhesive sheets, but I'm just so, I forget, I'm not used to using those. Ooh, which direction? Uh -oh. Let's go with this one. And we're going to put it sort of a little higher up. Like so. Now we can put a bird there, put a bird there. Should we pop them up? Sure, why not? I wonder. No. Okay, let's pop them up. So how was everyone's weekend? Ours was okay. We didn't do much on Saturday, which was great. And Sunday we did some shopping and went to an open house. Oh man, we are in love. Danger, right? It's this beautiful two bedroom because I'm desperate for a window in my art room. It gets so hot in here with the lights and um, it would be just really nice to have a window. I can open up for fresh air. I can um, see outside. We can have natural light in here for all our plants. Yada, yada. So yeah, I'm just going to lay this on. Oh, Love it. Okay, and here's our little many thanks. I think it, I think I'm not gonna add any ribbon or anything. I think it's just a simple, simple card, and I think that's all it requires. I am gonna pop this up, however. And the window's in the place, oh my goodness. Windows galore. 
It's also a walkout, which is great. Would be great for the dogs. <clears throat> Pardon me. And uh, so yeah. Yikes. Do I dare? Maybe move again <laughs> but this this place felt like it would be a place that you would stay for a long time the last two is kind of um, it felt they feel like temporary spots you know natural light yes it's great for inspiration absolutely it just you know you know me and splatter right I think I'm going to add some splatter just to break up there. Just needed a little something. There. Petal pink Stampin' Blends, I tell ya. Um, should I? I don't know. I can't decide. I can't decide. Do I put a little piece of ribbon? Not put a little piece of ribbon. Maybe. Hmm. Nope, let's just go simple. Let's go simple. Many thanks. Okay, let's glue this together. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love that color combo. It does sound lovely. It is lovely, all right. to our card base. Misty Moonlight. Isn't that easy? Easy. Ditch the ribbon. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Sometimes you just want somebody to tell you what to do. Oh, Wendy. Can't work now. Um, I was just going to add, here they are, I think some pearls. What about a pearl on the eyes? I think we can do some of these too. Oh, these are, these are stunning. I think these are my favorite now. Also the um, champagne rhinestones, but these are gorgeous. Elegant faceted gems. Like there's a clear, there's a, that beautiful pink, there's bite. I'm sure if you color these, they would work nicely. And a. Um, but I wonder if eyes on the birds would look tacky or not. Yeah, I think it's okay. Is that alright? Or should I just leave them? Should I just put pearls elsewhere? Andy girl. What do you think? As eyes or just random? Eyes are random. While you decide, I'm just gonna put away a few things. So that I can get ready for the next card. You like the pearl eyes? Eyes. Okay, eyes it is. And I won't put this one there because it'll look like there's a random eye floating. <laughs> okay, there we go. Cute, right? Can you imagine all the different kind of, you know, designer series paper you have floating around the house and how you could just make these cute birds into a cute little card? Wow. There we go. There's our first card. Easy. Second card, similar sort of idea. But we're using that cool... Um, 
side strip on this one. So I've got myself a Whisper White cardstock base. I don't know if you can see, but I use that, it's on the floor. Cut this off the edge, isn't that pretty? And then I was thinking, okay, there's this gorgeous paper. I love this ornate garden paper. Let's put it there and then you can see it's just kind of a peekaboo there. Neat, hey? So let's start there. Um, then I was going to go, remember how I cut out, oh, and then I made it too big, so let's shorten this up a little. Um, remember how I cut out that branch? Well, keep these layers because it could come in handy. Uh, let's go. That one. And that one. Oh no. Five and a half. There we go. Now it will fit perfectly. I'm just going to place this here. And I had a little piece of petal pink, which I thought, oh, that looks cute there. So let me add that, I don't know, underneath, on top, not sure. I have a piece of terracotta tile, because of course that matches so nicely with all of those. I have some old olive, I cut out that branch, and I was thinking I'm gonna do it upside down so that it's not going in the same direction as that wood grain, or I could, of course, do the wood grain going up and put this going down. We'll see. We'll see. I think I liked it the other way. I have two little pieces of uh, bir two little birds here that I cut out. This is also from that ornate garden designer series paper. Cut out the little birdies. I've got that little piece of petal pink again. Anyways, we'll, we'll put this all together somehow and uh, make it work. Okay, so here we go. Let's first off, let's glue that piece in there because I know that's going there for sure. Um, my snail. Stab and seal, pardon me, stab and seal. I don't know if you all saw, but that amazing rainbow that was on the ground. Oh, man, it was crazy. We turned the corner to go home and Kevin's like, oh, look at the rainbow. So that was pretty cool. Rainbow on the ground. I think I liked it this way better. So let's go with that direction. Now this may require a little bit of maybe some extra glue spots kind of a little closer to where it's a little bit the branches are loose and don't have the hang of this one yet just takes a little practice that's all bit of white there. Let's just go right up to that layer. There we go. Oh, let's just get a little glue on that little piece like so. Okay, and I'm going to glue this up top like that. I don't know, it just needed something up along the top there, some color. You've ne I know I have never seen a rainbow on the ground before. I mean, we see clouds on the ground all the time, which is kind of cool, just because it's the mountains, right? So you see clouds kind of hovering below you. Um, but yeah, rainbow never. It's kind of cool. Very, very cool. Okay, let's pop this layer up, I think, the terracotta tile. This label, by the way, came from In Good Taste. There are some beautiful labels. I know it's going to become qu quickly become a favorite. Um, lots of 
um, designs for sure. direction how was I thinking here I guess you kind of want your birds to be sitting on some kind of branch hmm that direction the other direction not sure we can also cut it up that might be fun let's cut this and make two branches why not let's do it so maybe we could have a branch coming this direction and a branch coming this direction sticking out. We don't even have to have them on the terracotta tile. Not sure. I'm stumped. I think I want one on there, but I don't know. Let's just do one and see what we think. I'm going to get some of my glue out, the liquid glue again. There again, a smart person would have put the adhesive sheets on the back. The glue dries clear. What do you do there? You like the bird, the one where the birds are. It's coming from each side. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Oh, that's going to stick up, isn't it? Uh, it's like it was made short, long. <laughs> little birdie here. I wonder, I didn't really want it to be see-through. Not that, it, no, that's not what I was saying, me. Add a little bit of glue, bit on the feet, on the inside there. I think I had it there was, I bypassed a lot of that green behind. And let's glue this one down. Not that I don't like coloring, but this 
Um, let's see. Let's go here. Oh no, because then it's going to hang off. That's okay. We can always cut the tail off. Don't tell. <laughs> there. Okay. That blends in too much. I think we're gonna go here somewhere. Yep, I think we're there. All right, I'm gonna use that many thanks again because that's kind of what I need. No sense making cards that uh, you don't need. So here we go. Let's try and get this one a little more straight. This should be. layer up. Doesn't it look kind of like quilty to you? I don't know what it does to me. It just reminds me of quilting and fabric and lots of fun. We might need to Farther over, but I'm gonna have to double up this one because this layer is already popped up. And I almost think I'm gonna have to put it, stick a few little mini ones under there if I can find where I put my mini dimensions. If not, let's just cut our own. I think later on I'll stick one under here as well, just to make it a little more even, if you will. All right, I think I like that pearl idea with the eyes. I think we'll do that again. And especially because there is, oops, there is an actual little hole there where their eyes should go. There. All right, and look, because I think this is so cool. Isn't that neat? We have some decoration on the inside. Oh. We could add little pieces. There are circle portions, or you could add little flowers. They, it does come with a flower stamp. Oh, it's on the floor. But you could add little flowers here as well. That might, you know, make things a little more something. But there we go. Cute, right? No coloring. <laughs> no syruping other than the sentiment. How easy. Okay, and the last one. This one freaks me out because the colors are a little different, I will admit. But we can do this, we can do this. Bumblebee, the new bumblebee color, that yellow. Um, remember this pattern. That's where I got my birds from. So I thought, okay, let's use this as a background layer. And then I did another layer of bumblebee. This is that Stitch So Sweetly dies. And this again is from the In Good Taste paper. Remember that neat tile pattern, isn't that cute? I have a little piece of wood grain. Remember this, how we cut it out from the side? Well, why not cut just a little portion? We'll put that along the bottom, just to kind of make it like a frame. And I thought, oh, this just needs a hit of Cajun craze for a little birdie. And I got a yellow heart that comes from this set as well. There's some little hearts in there. 
And so I think what I'm gonna do is take my linen thread and you know how you wrap it around behind a little bit? That's my plan. Um, totally didn't think about the sentiment. Not sure where I'm going to place that or how I'm going to do that. Maybe just with, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Okay, so that's kind of my, oh yes, oh yes. We have to add this beautiful, oh yeah, that just ties it all together, doesn't it? The beautiful bumblebee, gingham ribbon, the bumblebee. Oh, there, that helped it right there. Okay, let's start off by gluing that layer down onto our card base. So designer series paper is more than just for backgrounds, right? Play with it. You could cut out flowers from it. Oh, there's that little punch, that little flower punch. That would be so cute to use with, um, with all sorts of different designer series paper, especially this in good taste. Oh, love it, love it. And you saw how I used it last week with the sunflowers and actually kind of changed it all up by adding stamps to it, color to it, flicks to it, all sorts of fun. Okay. Now this one. Okay, let's glue that down there. So there again, smart person would have added those adhesive shapes. That this will work okay too. Just put I'm I think yeah, let's go this one. This direction. Okay. And I think I wanna put this around and around and around here, down here. So to help myself hold that ribbon, I'm just gonna place some stamp and seal on both sides. And that'll help me start off my linen thread. This to me is just, you know, a nice woodsy thread. It'll just help it look a little bit rustic, right? That's what I thought. Just turning it around and around. Three times around is the charm, right? I'm good with that. Just add a little bit of something, some texture. Mm, do I want to pop this layer up? No. I think I'm going to just leave it flat because we will pop the bird up. Have the little bird sitting on some gingham. What do you think? I'm gonna get some glue dots for that, I think, that ribbon. That'll just help it hold it down without kind of distorting the ribbon. Just, whoops, placing the ribbon to the glue dot and then pulling it all off. Just for you, I think that'll be okay because it'll just add to the rustic kind of look, right? That's my thought. <laughs> okay, maybe we could add a few. Now, when I want to fray the e edges, it's not going to fray. Of course. Yeah, let's do another. 
We'll just add glue there quickly this time. Okay, and should we, yeah, I think so. We're gonna twine or oh, get some of that, loop it around the back here. So I'm just gonna add a little piece of stamp and seal at the back. I'm gonna twirl this linen thread around my fingers, like so. And then I'll just give it a little twist. It makes them look like like it's sitting on a nest a little bit. Maybe I'll just kind of concentrate that more so along the bottom. Okay, sticking out all as well because we're going to add a dimensional on the back here anyway. That's going to help hold those little linen threads down like so. Oh yeah, that's huge. Huge. And if you don't like these big pieces sticking out, then cut them off. And I was thinking about the little heart. Is that like it's covering his privates? <laughs> oh, sheesh. Oh. I just think it's cute. Okay, let's just go with this. Okay, um, saying, hmm, I don't know, maybe just a teeny tiny whisper white layer. Let's do our little many thanks. Should I do it in blue? Yeah, let's do blue. Our misty moonlight. it wouldn't be so stark as the early espresso. You could also do the honeybee too. Looks like an egg heart, right? Yes. Oh, I knew someone would come through for me for, I just, it looked cute. Harden cut, but then I thought, well, our ribbons are kind of the Lisa Harden cut, so maybe we'll just keep this one rectangular and just small. Yeah, what do you think? Just right there. I don't. I think it would get lost up there. Yeah. Just in with the collection of things. Um, let's take some of that edging. <clears throat> Pardon me from our dimensionals. Hopefully it fits. Oh, just. And there it is. Do we add a little pearl? What else do I have in my arsenal here? Oh, we do have these in color faceted dots. I could add a blue, mm, yellow, brown, no. I forgot about cinnamon cider. That might have looked really nice with this combo too. I'm going to just use a plain old, look at me, look at me. <laughs> a plain old pearl, I think. There we have it. Isn't that fun? Very folk art, yes. Maybe needs an eye too. Um, we could, um, just hang on. Let's take this off for a second. What about if,
because I don't want it to show up a lot. So what if we colored it in with our Cajun Praise stamp? How would that look? It's there, but it's not in your face. Isn't that fun? Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. I have been having fun. Last week, I kind of got my groove, I'm, and I'm excited about that. Um, here are my cards. Here are the cards from this week, or today. So we started off really nice and simple, but how cute is that? And then we went kind of wild and crazy with all the little scraps, and this fun little piece right there. I think it needs something right here. Not sure. I could always go in with the white chalk marker and actually add white chalk marker maybe where those feathers are just to make them pop a little more or not. And then I think this one is my favorite. I, I quite like it. So there we go. No barely any stamping just lots of fun with the designer series paper love it so thank you everybody for popping on i hope you uh this has kind of inspired you to kind of think about things a little bit outside of the box and try maybe using some of your designer series paper as your image as opposed to uh stamping um of course, this is going to be the feature of the week, the Birds and Branches Bundle. And it's actually a fairly good price point. Like, I think it was $47 for the bundle. That doesn't often happen. So there's, and there's lots of pieces, lots of fun things that you could use outside of the bird um, kind of idea. So um, it is one you're gonna wanna have for sure. If you purchase it with me this week and maybe a stamp set or something just to make it hit $60, you're going to get in on the bonus days, which means when you purchase $60 worth, you get a $6 credit to use in August. How awesome is that? Plus, it's my birthday week, birthday month. And so I'm giving away 47 things this month to people who place orders with me. And just a hint. I've only had one people place an, one person place an order. So she's going to be getting all 47 items. <laughs> so your chances of winning a ton of things are really good. So uh, just feel free. <laughs> I wanna give things away, 46 things. So there we go. Um, as always, if you have any questions or anything, I would love to help you out if you need a catalog if you need help with ordering, if you wanna join my team, all sorts of fun things we can do. Now, tomorrow, I work with my team. It's Team Tuesday, and I'm not gonna leave you hanging. Uh, we are gonna be focusing on the letter M. So I'll post job titles that start with the letter M so we can have some ideas on who to surprise this week with the card. And I will also hand out a new template challenge. So there again, use whatever supplies you have, give the template uh, and uh, go, post your picture online and you'll be entered into a draw to win one of the handmade cards from me. And I will also post a picture of um, the layout using this birds and branches bundle, just so you can get another idea on how to use this set. Otherwise, I'm going to see you here 10 a.m. Oh, darn, I've got, may have to switch. We'll have to see about Wednesday. Tune in on Wednesday and see what time we'll be here, because I know I have a, an appointment at 1030, but I know I have an appointment later in the day, so I'm going to have to fit it in our video, but check back then. All right, yes, happy birthday to me tomorrow. Tomorrow's a big day. Yikes. All right, everybody, have a good evening.